61% of the tickets thus far as we speak are on the Alabama Crimson Tide minus the points over Ole Miss. Hi, everybody. Scott Spritzer here. She's Kelly Stewart. We are Wager Talk TV. And Kelly, Ole Miss, you remember last year's game, they scored twice in the final four or five minutes of that game. They end up winning the game against Alabama 23-17. to And I mentioned that stat of over 60% of the tickets thus far being on the Crimson Tide because people are hoping for that Alabama revenge by margin. They've done pretty well in this role, eight and two straight up, seven and three against the spread the last 10. What say you about Ole Miss and You know Alabama? what? I love this Rebels team. I know they've only played a couple cupcakes, but offensively, this Chad Kelly kid, I know his uncle is a Hall of Famer, but yep. he's great. I love what they're doing there in Oxford, Mississippi. I know they're going down to Tuscaloosa this weekend. Bre upsets brewing, in my personal opinion. They're leading the SEC with 276 and a half yards per game on the ground. Now, I know that front seven for Alabama is just nails, but guess what? I don't care. I think Old Miss is going to go down there. They're going to run the ball. They're going to they're going to give Alabama a really good game. Well, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned Chad Kelly. You mentioned his dad being Jim Kelly, of course, of uh, Buffalo Bills fame. But what I like about Chad Kelly against this tight defense is that when the Crimson Tide do struggle, which isn't often on defense, it's usually when they play against a quarterback who can also beat you with his feet. And this guy's not going to run the football 15, 20 times per game. He's not that kind of running quarterback, but he can scramble out of trouble, and he's averaged about 7.5 yards per carry so far this season. So, again, you're not going to see a bunch of called quarterback runs. He's pretty good in the pocket, you know, slinging that football around, and he's got a good football IQ. Part of that is with his upbringing with his dad. But, again, if he's under a pass rush, he's tough to get to. Bama sometimes struggles against those kind of quarterbacks. Not to mention he's got three stud receivers as well as Treadwell is coming back. Everybody remembers that brutal injury from last year, so oh, yeah. hopefully he remembers it as well and just has a great, great game. Well, I'll tell you what, Bama's going to run the football. It's funny, we were talking about Bama on a couple of radio shows we do, and we were saying that we always talk about this day and age not being your father's college football. Bama kind of is to a certain extent because they want to run that football first. They're not a team that wants to sling it around 40 times. They don't run spread option after spread option constantly. You'll see some old fashioned smash mouth type of football or as Marco likes to hear it when I talk about it, slobber knocker, snot knocker kind of football games. But I think, Ch I think Chad Kelly can keep them on their toes enough defensively. That's my opinion, but this is your video play of the week. Let's make it official. Got to make it old miss plus seven. I think it's seven across the board. Now we saw some six and a halves, but don't forget to put a little bit on that money line. And that's, by the way, we're going to talk to Kelly a little bit more on other videos on this show, but I wanted to mention that you, because of Kelly, of Kelly in Vegas fame, you can get $10 off any play, any pick this weekend right here at wagertalk.com. All you got to do is use the code Kelly10. You get $10 off any pick. A lot more to do with Kelly, a lot more to do with Brian and Marco. Also check out their videos this weekend in college in pro football. For Kelly, I'm Scott. Stick around for more. We are Wager Talk TV.